Steven Bogrand here, Pro Physique. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, guys. So as you can see, there's a little bit of change of, you know, location here. We're in the real office, the real deal, where the work happens, the magic. Because uh, I officially have a house guest this week. And so uh, other coach Tyler Weeb is staying with me this week. So I am getting out of my guest room slash YouTube studio and allowing him to have that and do some sleepy time stuff. But today I want to talk about something. I made an Instagram post on it earlier. So if you follow me on Instagram, you already kind of know what's happening. It's self-care. Self-care is what I want to talk about today because I think that there are a lot of misconceptions about it. There's a lot of things that people, you know, fail to realize and there's a lot of things that people just outright ignore in terms of self-care and making sure that we as human beings and individuals are okay and that we're doing the right things to set ourselves up for success. Um, and so I think the big thing to start with, what are some of the misconceptions? I think a lot of people, you know, they think self-care is, you know, taking a hot bath or a bubble bath or using bath bombs, you know. A lot of bath things, apparently, I think. Um, bath salts. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's it, but yeah. Um, you know, going out, getting a manicure, getting a pedicure, going to the movie, like taking ourselves out for a meal. Um, and I agree, those can be forms of self-care, right? The hygienical things, you know, of the simple self-care of I'm going to get up, I'm going to make sure I'm washed, I'm cleaned, I'm presentable, like I feel good about the way I look. Yes, those are parts of self-care. And I think that those are important, but I think that those are the very superficial, easy ones, right? And if you guys know me, I love to challenge people to be more than superficial. Um, it is one of my biggest things that I, I, I push for in the industry is to search for more, to push for more, to, to do more, to not just have fitness and to be an in-shape person, but to be a good person, to be somebody who um, helps people, who lifts them up, who leaves them better than they found them. Um, and so I think <clears throat> self-care for us to be able to do that, for us to be able to push out that positivity, that, that caring, that love, those, those good things in life, um, we, have to, we have to address some of our own things. And I think that this is where self-care can be very challenging and difficult because self-care also dictates that we have to have some self-awareness. Um, self-awareness can be very challenging, it can be very hard because, you know, pride is most certainly gets in the way of it, but none of us like to admit that we're broken or we're angry or we're hurt or we're depressed or that we have anxiety. You know, we all like to have this idea that we're okay, um, that we can maybe do it on our own, that we don't need help, that we, you know, that we're, we're functional. And it's not that we're not functional, and it's not that we're not okay, and it's not that we don't still have value, um, but it's important that I'm honest with myself and saying, Steven, like, you got some shit you need to fix, dude. You have some places that you need to improve upon. There's some things that you need to handle um, if you really, truly want to continue being better. You have some things that you need to address if you really, truly want to help people at the next level, if you really, truly want to continue what you're doing. Um, and that can be difficult because I like feeling good about myself. Um, and it's not that I feel bad about myself. I'm, I'm not saying I'm having a pity party over here. I'm not saying you should either. But it's important to take that step back and be like, I definitely need to get better here. I definitely need to improve. It's not that I'm not good enough, it's not that I'm not worthy of love or relationships or friendships or any of this other stuff, but I need to improve. I need to get better um, because the things that I'm doing um, are either, maybe they're hurting the people that I care about, maybe they're hurting myself, right? Obviously I care about myself, so I guess I fall into that category, um, but maybe it's holding myself back from what I truly want from that next level um, and being able to be realistic and honest with myself in those very difficult um, times, it's important. It's important if I truly want growth. And so bodybuilding is all about growth, right? It's all about prospering over time. It's all about making progress as we go forward. Um, and I think that quite often we minimize that to being just our physique. We minimize that to be something that's just our body. And does that provide benefit? Yes, absolutely. Do we get some mental growth from that? Yes, absolutely. But Bodybuilding, physique sports, they can be extremely selfish. Um, it can be selfish in the fact that like, it's all about me. It's all about my body, my journey, my thing. Um, and that can be difficult in and of itself if you are looking to have fulfilling, real, deep, good relationships with the people around you. Um, 
if we are only ever focused on ourselves, if we live that narcissistic, selfish life that we, you know, we have that stigmata of, like, one, it perpetuates the stigma of fit people being, you know, into themselves and selfish and kind of dicks in general, which I don't think that we want to do that. Um, but it also keeps you from a lot of really fulfilling, wonderful things in life. Um, so making sure that we're okay, because when it comes to self-care, a lot of times when we overlook our, our self-care, our psychological needs, our emotional needs, um, our psychological and emotional traumas and hurts, um, that's what happens. We get to this place where we're only worried about ourselves, where we only think about ourselves, where we don't think about how our actions impact the people around us, the people we care about, the people we interact with. Um, and again, that can be a dangerous place because it's even just getting back to being selfish, it keeps us from a lot of things in life. And it really can keep us back from a lot of things in life. So when we think about self-care, we don't want to just think about brushing my teeth, putting my hair up, washing my face, getting my, my nails done, many petty life. Um, I still never had one or you know the simple easy things we also want to think about the hard things we want to think about the things that we haven't dealt with in life the things that maybe we need to go see somebody to help us through um the things that we have going on and sometimes like it's chemical reactions right maybe we need to see somebody um, to help us through to help us cope to help us deal to help us find a way right we want to make sure that we're not only getting that superficial top layer but that we're digging deep down to really care about ourselves. Because at the end of the day, nothing in our lives works if we don't, right? And it's not even just like, hey, yes, we have to work to make things better. Yes, we have to work to get there. Um, but we have to make sure that we are able to work. We have to make sure that psychologically and emotionally and physically, we're able to do the work that needs to be done. Um, and none of that happens if we don't make sure that we are taking care of not only our superficial and our outside body, but the things inside that are going on as well. So I'm going to leave it right there, guys. Y'all have a great day, and I hope to talk to you soon.